months back, um, we tried to get some um, assistive devices for daily living for Grace through um, just regular, uh, like, Sam Salmon's Preston catalogs through MediChair. And uh, I was really surprised and actually quite shocked to find out that there was nothing. I like to be as independent as possible, so that was definitely an issue. Well, I made four devices for Grace. One for uh, eating sandwiches, so it holds a sandwich in front of her face so she can eat it whenever she wants without someone holding it. So when I try to pick them up, all the stuff would fall out and then I'd have to put it all back in and then it would fall out again. So it's just, it was back and forth. It uh, is very dangerous for me to be trying to feed her while I'm driving and having one arm going backwards and one arm on the steering wheel. I made a platform that she can put a bowl on so when she's in her van driving down Vancouver she can put food in it and eat without her mom having to turn around and feed her. The hairbrush holder so that she can clamp it to her bathroom counter and, uh, and brush her bangs and her hair. I made a face cloth holder that interchanges with the, the hairbrush holder. I used to put it on the edge of my tub and I would just lean down and that actually hurt my back a lot. So I'd have to bend down pretty far <laughs> to, uh, to wash my face. And then a hot face cloth can just be put over top and Grace can wash her face. When you're doing something for somebody else every day, day in and day out, sometimes it gets um, a little tiring, mm -hmm. you know, just being honest. And uh, this is just going to be a wonderful thing, not only for her, but for me. Good job, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, it's your creation. I like it. <laughs> Shampoo commercial.